So um, let's talk a little bit about the um, earnest money and as, as far as like how does that factor in with the down payment and stuff like that. Earnest money, think of earnest money like a security deposit on uh, an apartment. So when you give the landlord a thousand dollars as a security deposit, that's your good faith that you're going to take care of that apartment right. and when you leave it, you're going to abide by their rules and you're going to clean it up. Mm -hmm. With earnest money, you're giving the real estate agent and they're going to hold that in a trust account and so it's in, held in trust for the transaction and that is your the security blanket to the seller that you're not going to just walk away from that right. home purchase so you can't just walk away from the contract that you've written and that's your good faith money saying that no nope, i'm not walking away here's my money that i'm going to follow through with what i've said right and like we mentioned before we will also need a copy of that check, right? Mm -hmm. And we need to source it. And we need to source it. So we, want, we need to see where it came from. So are you seeing a theme here? We have to constantly follow where all the money is coming from. Um, but one, one good thing, it does go towards the down payment. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's not lost money. It's not no. extra money in the transaction. You will see a credit at the final closing Yeah. for the money. If you have a question or if you'd like to see the full presentation, please feel free to contact Peggy at 920-457-5626 or email her at peggy.ayers at cibmmortgage.com.